us uh, summarize the case of central serous retinopathy. So central serous retinopathy, it is a disease which occurs because of the breach in the outer blood retinal barrier. And because of the breach in the outer blood retinal barrier, there is collection of fluid from the choroidal capillaries, uh, especially the choroid capillaries. And the fluid will be focally leaking into the central part of the retina as a serous fluid into the pre-retinal space. So that will result into shallow retinal detachment. And the patient usually complains of uh, the complaint with chief complaint like gradual diminution in vision so there is decreased vision and there is alteration in the vision so there is blurring of vision along with that there is alteration in vision the alteration is in the vision can be either in the form of micropsia as well as metamorphopsia and the vision usually improves with uh, with positive glasses or uh, uh, by giving positive glasses that is concave uh, convex glasses uh, usually the vision improves with giving convex glasses usually these cases are seen in patient with having risk factors like uh, the patient who usually are uh, having are in between the age of 20 to 50 years uh, who are taking steroids uh, those patients who are having type a personality or those patients who take a lot of stress or those patients who take steroids or those patients who are having hypertensive and uh, it is usually common in males uh, the ratio being uh, three to one but it can also be seen in pregnant females so they, they are also having a high risk so in patient with these risk factors so there is breach in the outer blood retinal barrier because of which there is leakage of fluid and they will present with this complaint and uh, upon doing fundus examination what we'll see that uh, what we'll see is we'll see that uh, the optic disc is absolutely normal whereas in the macular area we can appreciate a, uh, a small gray color elevation uh, which is occurring because of the detachment uh, occurring at the level because of the shallow retinal detachment and inner to that we can see there is a small yellow gray elevation which signifies uh, the presence of the detachment of the retinal pigment epithelium from the choroid so there are two findings that we see in fund uh, on uh, normal fundus examination so we usually evaluate the patient and uh, we uh, send them for investigation the first investigation is fundus fluorescent angiography where we can see two pattern one is ink blot pattern another is smoke stack pattern the ink blot pattern being the more common variety we can also uh, perform optical coherence tomography in this patient and in these people uh, on doing this uh, we can find that uh, the choroid is absolutely normal and uh, the retinal pigment epithelium is slightly detached uh, in around here and we can see that neurosensory retina is detached uh, focally in this point so there is detachment of the neurosensory retina which is seen in OCT uh, so these are the investigations that we do in this patient and uh, along with that we can also perform a next uh, so we can see this uh, OCT chart. The next investigation is absolute grid test. Absolute grid test can also be given and uh, and uh, it is usually given for follow-up facilities as well uh, so that to monitor the visual prognosis and to monitor the visual improvement. The next investigation is endocyanin green angiography. Uh, uh, the um, endocyanin green angiography will usually visualize the choroidal vasculature. So there are two varieties of uh, central serous retinopathy one of them is an acute variety and the next one is a chronic variety acute is uh, if patient are usually presenting within the period of two to six months then we usually categorize them under the acute variety uh, we should be thankful to this patient because uh, these cases are usually self-limiting and they are temporary so uh, two to six months uh, self-limiting and temporary so this patient, they usually do not require treatment. But what we do is that we provide them with an absolute grid chart and to monitor the visual prognosis. We uh, we ask them to avoid the risk factor by uh, uh, by avoiding taking the steroids and avoiding stress and uh, decrease and uh, to control hypertension. And we also provide them with spironolactone. And spironolactone has shown to some shown some benefit by decreasing or by by increasing the uh, uh, by increasing the uh, the fast resolution of the disease and for the chronic patient chronic patient we have to be uh, it is quite dangerous in this patient because chronic patient usually they have a permanent damage to the rod and cones and even to the retinal pigment epithelium and this patient usually present within a period after the period of 12 months and uh, the treatment that we suggest them is to undergo uh, uh, undergo anti vegf therapy along with that photodynamic therapy this is the main stay of treatment and we can also advise them to undergo photodynamic therapy uh, by still alone right? and we can also advise them to undergo uh, a therapy called as uh, soft threshold micropulse diode so this is about central serous retinopathy uh, thank you very much